Hello, John McConnell here with UpsideDownRealEstate.com. I'm an attorney and a realtor, and I thought I'd update us on this uh, pending uh, California bill, Section SB 1178, which is to uh, extend purchase money protections to refinanced loans. I have discussed the particulars of this uh, in the past in a video. I just wanted to update us that I guess it failed by two votes on Friday. Uh, cars working, it, it has a right to have a revote. Cars working to uh, work on the revote and uh, maybe uh, have the legislation changed a little bit to answer some of the concerns the senators raised. However, I uh, raised three, uh, I guess two questions. One, do we know if this bill will apply to short sales? Um, because oddly, if this bill shows that loans that were recourse are now going to be considered non-recourse, yet we don't know what will happen after a short sale if the lenders do not release the deficiency in the short sale, as we know many don't, especially for realtors. Sometimes a lawyer can get deficiencies released in writing from B of A, where we know that most realtors can't on non-half of short sales. This bill will actually encourage more strategic defaults because a good lawyer or even a, a, a realtor who's practicing law, uh, would uh, tell their client, hey, if you do the short sale, you don't get released from the deficiency. Uh, the case law is not well settled. But if you if you um, walk away from this, the case law is more settled, provided the court goes along and says that this bill is actually constitutional. Which brings up my uh, second point. As much as I don't like what the banks are, have done to this country, that they've destroyed our children, they have hurt our children's futures. We've had something like $13 trillion spent in support of them. It wasn't just $28 billion for loans. It was the trillion dollars we've spent in, uh, in these uh, subsidized HUD loans. It's the trillions we spent buying back Chinese debt by the Fed. And uh, there's a list on the internet of where the $13 trillion is. And believe me, I don't like the banks. But um, if this law is applied retrospectively, I could see, and I would argue if it were me, that this was an unconstitutional unconstitutional take. Because at the time they entered into a recourse, well, a refinance loan, they, especially a second, would not have expected 580B to apply. Um, if it does apply, then the loans are much less secure uh, because the personal finances of the borrower would not be at stake. So in short, two questions. One, would it even apply to short sales? If not, it seems to encourage more strategic defaults to how could it be constitutional? Thanks, John McConnell, UpsideDownRealEstate.com.